All right, little update on the mini bike. Well, not too little, but uh, I don't know if those are my last video. Those are the handlebars, the new ones I got. Um, I put the clutch cover on because it actually fits this new motor I got, and I'll show you that in a second. Put the see the clutch cover right there. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I got a new rear tire. It's a Carlisle two ply. It looks pretty good. I have a new sprocket on the way, this sprocket here, because this one's got a little bit of warp to it, so it's kind of annoying. Um, I made me up a little plate here like I showed in the last video that I was going to do. I ordered me a little decal for it, the 12, and then I had some of those old mini bikes decal. Um, the biggest part of the update is the new Predator motor. Yeah, I got that at Harbor Freight, like much everybody else does. So, uh, 99 bucks with a coupon. Uh, I rotated my pull start there. You can see it's, the sticker's crooked now because I rotated up here. It did come out this side, and you'd have to be off the bike to start it, which is annoying. So I put it up here so you can start it while you're on the bike. And uh, I just hooked up my governor pretty normal. You can see I put a return spring there and ran it through. The all, every, only thing I had to add was that return spring. Uh, it's pretty simple to hook up on this motor, not like that Briggs & Stratton where I had to order so many little parts to get it. Put some foot pegs on there. I got the same one on the other side. So looks pretty good now, I'd say. Uh, with this motor, um, the other the other 5 HP Briggs, I would be able to, you know, pop a wheelie with the torque right out. But after that, it wouldn't really want to do nothing. I mean, it would go, you know. Normally, I just wouldn't want to raise up the front end. But with this one on here, I can... Pop a willy, you know, if I wanted to, right off the start. Um, and then when it's going, if I'm like, I don't know, maybe halfway up the throttle, I can throttle the rest away, and it'll want to bring this front end up while I'm going. So that's pretty cool. So it actually uh, goes pretty well. I only did that, you know, just once or twice because really you're supposed to have three hours of break in. So I've really just sat and let it run, revved it up just a little, not full full revs or nothing, like maybe a quarter of the throttle, just to give it a little uh, extra oil while it's going. Uh, lubricate everything then I just let it idle for a little bit so I've probably got about maybe maybe two hours on that motor now uh, much like the other predators it starts up first pull I'm not going to mod it out or anything take the governor off because I really can't afford to buy the 150 billet flywheel and the connecting rod and uh, and everything that it's going to need and, and even if I did I really wouldn't know how to do it by myself if I had a friend that lived close or somebody that would help me you know or knew how to do it and has done it before I would definitely do that uh, but as of right now, it's, this is how it's going to stay. I don't care to mod it. I don't care to go any faster. I didn't get it to do anything major with. I just got it to uh, kind of ride around, you know, take it, you know, maybe to the campground, maybe to swap meets. I don't know. But uh, I'd say for pulling this frame out of the junkyard, um, it looks pretty good. So that's where it's at. I unhooked the... I unhooked the low oil sensor there so I don't have a problem with it rocking around and stuff because normally if you were going on hilly terrain uh, it would shut the engine off because it, it would think it's out of oil with the oil sloshing around so another thing that's annoying uh, I had my new a, a new muffler on the other one was a straight pipe and it, it won't fit on here because it comes out of that side of that overhead valve, overhead valve. so I'm going to have to uh, order a little straight pipe that'll fit right and go out the rear you know because this muffler is so freaking annoying. I've burnt my arm on it like three times. And you know, I don't even, uh, I don't even really get around it much and I still end up burning my damn self. So that's pretty annoying. So that's got to be fixed next. I actually got the band break for this right now. Um, but I don't have the bolt that you need to put in right here to run it out to hook to the band brake and this clutch cover isn't made for that. I if I would have damn paid the dollar twenty five in the first place I could have got the right bracket that would uh let the band brake go underneath it. But this one has nowhere near the clearance that it needs under there to fit it. So that's where it's at now. Um looks pretty good. I put number twelve on there because that's like the number I used all the high school basketball, football, baseball, that was always my number. Even though I'm not going to race this, but I thought it would be a cool little addition to it. So, And again, it's not going to be any type of show bike because I'm nowhere near the mechanic to be able to do something like that. The only real, really, the only real future plan is to take everything off and, and 
uh, sandblast the entire frame and get it powder coated and that would be the actually the final thing that I would want to do to it so but that's where it's at and I I think it's pretty good and it was actually a good addition to the go-kart that I picked up so now I got a pretty pretty fast eight horse go-kart with that 40 series on there it's pretty quick I just need to get some new front tires because they if you watch my last video they were kind of splitting so I got some knobby tires on eBay for about $71 with free shipping that I'm going to end up ordering if I can't find any decent ones used around where I live. So, But anyway, pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, another thing I still got to get, uh, some bearings on the front with a snap seal. I ordered the ones without because that's what was in it, and they weren't quite right. They're, they're making one of the bearings push in, and then the tire wants to rub. Of course it ain't. Ain't a big deal, it barely rubs, but it's kind of annoying. Because the back here I put those snap seal bearings on and, and you can you can see there they're they're still on there and they're still on the outside and it holds them there from getting pushed in. So that's that's what I need for the front. So I'm gonna order some of them. Um I I know it's just a little mini bike, but I've put at least three, maybe four hundred in it now with the motor. And it's worth it to me because this same mini bike to get this same mini bike brand new of course it's kind of an updated model I believe a little bit different but they want nine hundred dollars for it and it's only a three and a half horse so I'd say with a six and a half horse and you know everything I want the right seat I want the right look um, I, I think I did pretty good and I I think if I sold it I could definitely get my money back if I found the right buyer and took my time I might be able to make a fifty to hundred dollar profit I mean that's kinda of asking a lot for you know a five hundred dollars for a used bike but I'd say I'd definitely get that out of I, if I spent the money and powder coated it and everything. I definitely might get that out of it. And it got everything right on like the bearings and and you know, everything that needs fixed on it. Got the new sprocket on. I'd definitely get maybe five if I spent time and found the buyer, like I said. So anyways, that's where I'm at now. So hope you guys enjoyed this little update and enjoyed kind of watching this build, even though I didn't document a whole lot of it on on the video but you can actually go over to oldminibikes.com and uh look up my username keith1212 k-e-i-t-h-1212 and you can uh find my thread there for the manco mini bike and uh you can check it out so hopefully you do that and give me a thumbs up or something so spent quite a bit of time on here but uh it was definitely a fun project and now i need something else so i don't know We'll find something eventually. But uh All right, take care everybody.